So what kind of significance does this place have as a, a place to hold prayer for Jews? This site is known to be in Jewish tradition, as is brought down in the Zohar and in other very holy uh, Jewish literature, is known to be the entrance to the Garden of Eden. Uh, and as such, it's an extremely holy place. It's written that Abraham discovered here the tombs of Adam and Eve, the first man and the first woman. Uh, and be because of that, he purchased this cave uh, for his family, leaving it as, a, uh, as the first Jewish heritage site uh, in the land of Israel. And as such, it's an extremely important place to pray at. Uh, people come here from all over the world, and I might say of all religions. Uh, yesterday, there was a very large Christian group. You get everybody here, and they come here because they have heard about the place and its holiness, its sanctity, and they want to pray here. Um, where do the Muslims pray, and, and how do you share the place? Can we look at the Muslim side, for example? Uh, at the moment, unfortunately, the building is split. So there are areas that uh, uh, Jews can't go into, and there are areas that Muslims can't go into. Where we are now is what's called the Jewish side, uh, and, uh, uh, and they pray in the big room that's parallel to us over there. Uh, Ten days a year, the entire building is open to them and closed to Jews. Uh, ten days a year, it's open to the Jews and closed to them. Otherwise, it's split as it is today. Uh, we think that the entire building should be open to everybody all the time. Uh, they think it should be open to them all the time. They still claim that we have no rights to be here. This site was declared a uh, Palestinian heritage site in danger. Uh, and a few weeks ago, UNESCO declared this uh, to be uh, uh, a Palestinian holy site located in the occupied Palestinian territories. UNESCO being... UNESCO, United you, United, the UNESCO is a United Nations organization for science and culture, extremely anti-Israel, extremely anti-Semitic, uh, uh, declaring this to be a, uh, a Palestinian holy site, a Palestinian national heritage site. Uh, and uh, as such, they continue to say that we have no rights to be here because they still continue to say it's a, a mosque. Now, many times people ask why we live here. And, of course, there are numerous answers to that question. It's the first Jewish city in Israel. Jews have lived here almost continuously for almost 4,000 years. Uh, but here, we know if we did not live here, if there was not a Jewish community in Hebron, this site would be totally closed off to anybody who is not Muslim. And we know that because that's what they tell us. That's what they say to us. They mean what they say. Okay. Very good. Is there a place that we can get 